Hello folks, thanks for joining me for my ride from Augusta to Dutso on the Katy Trail. So it rained a bit earlier in the day today, making the trail a bit wet. Um, there's some mud, and of course things are getting, the, the, some of that um, the wet particulates getting thrown up on my bike. There's really nothing I can do about that. But the weather's great. It's not too hot, too cold, it's not too windy or too still. There is intermittently some wind, especially when I get out in the open. And of course, despite what some people seem to think, trees do not create wind. But, yeah, we should have a good ride today. I'm always after the latest adventure, and I want to see what's around the next bend. So off we go. There are a lot of changes in vegetation along this section. Some open sections, some where you're among the trees but not covered by trees. Other portions that have what we'll call a forest canopy above us, you know, or above the trail. This ride's going to be a bit long. I'm not sure about um, what the distance actually is. Yeah, obviously geography is not my strong suit. So for most of the ride, the Missouri River, well, it's off to the left for the entire section, but intermittently you can see the river from the trail, sometimes not. There are roads nearby. You can't always see them, but you can hear them, and sometimes the roads intersect the Katy Trail. Also, other paths intersect. You can see mile markers periodically. Those mile markers are great to tell you how far you haven't gone yet. There's other people walking jogging and biking on this trail today. And you need to keep your eyes peeled. You never know what you might see. Sometimes there's wildlife that you see. That doesn't mean I can point it out in time or get the camera there in time. Oh yeah, they're always worried about one thing or another. I have to wonder, you know, usually they put those signs up after somebody does something and causes a problem. You know, sometimes it isn't necessarily the person's fault. Like falling rock probably wasn't the person's fault. Or they may have just put the signs up. I don't know for sure that rocks fell on someone. As you can see, there are some crops along the trail. Obviously, rain has not been abundant this year.
Speaking of roads, there is one on the right. It's beautiful along the trail. I enjoy riding it with this bike. You know, a different bike that might be different. A little bit of mud there. Now, obviously, my camera is battery powered. I'm keeping an eye. Oh, more mud. Keeping an eye on the battery because it has a habit of um, running out on me at inopportune moments. Not that bridge, but some of the bridges I have to believe could have been here when this was a railroad track, because this, this was a railroad bed. Actually, it is a railroad bed. It used to be a railroad track. Isn't that interesting how the trail just beckons on and on and on? never know what's around the next curve. It could be anything. Now, this section of the ride is part of a longer ride. I actually rode from Weldon Spring to Herman. And Herman, FYI, is not on the Katy Trail. You have to take a little spur, but I want to, to take those spurs anyway just to see where they go. And I have taken a lot of them. Well, depending on the section of the trail. As I find out about the spurs, I try to schedule when I can find out where it goes if I can't take it right then. You can see the snake making its way across the trail there. No harmless black snake or garden snake, something like that. Now do pay attention to the sky, it's often very nice. Now I was paying attention to the sky a little bit because there was a chance of rain. And in my experience getting rained on on a bike ride usually isn't as much fun as you'd think it would be.
Now there's not necessarily much I could do about it if it did decide to rain on me. I can't necessarily just pull up under the next bus stop or overhang or whatever because there is no such out here. just looks like it's endless fields but it's not yeah there were some people that came by and honked and waved I mean they were clearly waving at me I don't know who they were but hello whoever you are there were something and yes what I'm as interested in what's off the trail is what's on the trail sometimes I'm a little bit my own thoughts but you know, I try to pay attention to my surroundings situational awareness is important look at that it's growing over the bridge we're going to have to address that for too long or it's going to damage the bridge. could ride faster than this, but I'm riding to see what there is to be seen. You know, if there's something of interest, I don't want to miss it. And sooner or later, there always is. I don't necessarily get to point it out or show it on the video in any form, but sooner or later, and of course, you have to look for it, and you have to be able to recognize whatever it is, for what it is, when it shows up. Which is usually not at the most convenient time. And sometimes you can't really do much other than observe it and maybe call it out. Today I'm I'm on a schedule. I have a limited <coughs> excuse me. I have a limited time in order to complete this ride, and then I need to get back home. And doing the rides is all fine and dandy. But I have other things I have to do as well. Those are some seriously interesting 
cloud patterns. I don't know what's going on with the field on the left. Maybe they were making a maze at some point or something. Interesting picture of the field there. And was that a silo over there on the left? Two silos? Holy mackerel. Silo and some other kind of building. And a boring building. Boring looking building. Those are telephone poles over there. Electric poles, something like that. Is that a bridge? Those are looks like electric. Another mile marker. Wow, whole train of them there. Some mud there.
can see a dragonfly, but the flowers are very nice. Look at that sky. Some people walking. Here comes Dutso. I'll see you in the next video.